Would you like to know how to stage your home for free to sell it for top dollar? Well, you've come to the right place because that's our conversation starting now. We're going to review the 10 most critical things that you need to know to stage your home and get the most money for it. Stay to the end and I'll give you a checklist to summarize everything so that you can be sure that you've covered everything. Staging your home for resale is actually a very exciting process. It is laborious and time consuming. However, you can expect to get one to 5% more for the price of your home by, by staging it properly. So why not invest that time and money and attention into making your home show ready? So tip number one, declutter. Every stager will tell you this right away. No socks on the ground, no piles of books. Declutter everything. Leave your house, go for a cup of coffee, come back in your house and look around like you're a buyer. How do you feel as a brand new buyer? Would you want to buy this home? Or would you, are you walking through stacks of papers and big overgrown oversized furniture in order to kind of get a lay of the land? How do you feel by being there? What does it feel like to be there? So decluttering is number one. Number two, depersonalize. Take off all of those pictures with your dogs and your children and your family vacations because your new buyer wants to feel like their, this home is gonna be for their family and their memories. So declutter, depersonalize. Number three, clean, clean, clean. No dust bunnies. Have your carpets dry clean, dry cleaned, <laughs> steam cleaned and dried and, and nice and clean and fresh. Very important to have everything fresh clean. About a month ago, we were selling my client's home and she walked in and said, it doesn't smell like anything. It smells like clean. Isn't that a great thing? So no fake air freshener to make it smell like chemicals, make it smell like clean, like fresh. Now, of course, when you're doing an open house, having baked cookies or vanilla scent is fine. But for staging purposes, you just want it to be clean. Get rid of the litter box, get rid of the Fido, put Fido with, with family temporarily, make sure everything is clean. No kitty litter, no obnoxious smells that are gonna repel. We want to attract our buyer. We do not want to repel our buyer. <laughs> so, clean. now. Function. Maybe your function, your lifestyle is different than the masses. Think what the model homes do when they're trying to sell. And now they have tens of thousands of dollars for their stagers. We don't need to go this, go there. We want to see, can we do this on a budget? Function. Can you clean out one room and put a small desk and a desk lamp? to make it so that people feel like, wow, I can actually work here. A lot of people are having home homework situations. And so can you do this for them? Is there anything else that you can see that would more closely mirror what the model homes are doing? So think about function, think about lifestyle, and think about how you can do that inexpensively. Maybe setting up patio furniture in a certain way in the backyard with some fresh flowers. Um, think of function and think how a person might be thinking about living in this home and again do what you can to attract your buyer lighting 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 this morning I'm actually selling a rental so a tenant lives there so we have less control over how it looks however um, it was dark in, in the dining room and so I literally went to Walmart and just bought two floor lamps fresh towels Nobody thinks of that. Who wants to have your to see your crappy dingy towels on the towel bar? No, they want to see fresh, beautiful, fluffy towels. So invest a few dollars in some beautiful towel, towels. So while we're talking about towels, I'd like to talk to you about color. 
really nice to have accent colors complementing and bringing the room together. That's such a fun and inexpensive way to stage. I've seen stagers put beautiful uh, color, have very basic neutral bedspread and then put a beautiful bright bright color, thank you, throw on the bottom um, along with matching pillows. You can put some matching pillows, put a couple pillows on the couch and then put some flowers in another area that look exactly the same color scheme. So do that and that will make it fresh and beautiful and happy. Art placement. Think about art placement. Bigger is oftentimes better. A lot of little tiny nicky necky things look cluttery and oftentimes not so nice. So big is often better with art placement. Add mirrors very strategically. If you've got a beautiful view of a backyard or something you want to capitalize on, then put a mirror somewhere where you can see that twice. Uh, if you want to make a room bigger, then use mirrors strategically. So think about mirrors. So another way is to accessorize intelligently based on what is cool and hip and trendy right now. So a lot of times metal art is really trendy right now. Um, you can get some beautiful things, believe it or not, at Hobby Lobby, at Home Goods, and Walmart. And also take a look online and see what our designers doing look at Pinterest you can get some great ideas or go to a couple model homes and take a few pictures and get some inspiration that way so lastly I'd really like to talk to you really quickly about paint and color right now the grages are very beautiful and very trendy and uh, a number of my flips we've been doing these beautiful grage colonnade gray by Sherwin Williams absolutely lovely I recently had a client who had a, a stainless steel appliances and a pretty drab kitchen. The paint was drab. Um, the kitchen was fine, but the paint was drab. So I told them to put that colony gray on it. It looked gorgeous and it went with the stainless steel appliances. It cost them nothing and it really, really sold the house or helped to sell the house. It was a nice house anyway, but uh, that really helped. So uh, can you paint an accent wall with neutral tones? Again, I'm not asking you to paint something bright green or Caribbean yellow. We want to see what are people buying now? Always neutral tones, Swiss coffees, classic, colonnade gray is beautiful. And there's a number of other really nice um, colors that are popular right now. So if you've learned something, hit the like button and click the subscribe button if you'd like to see these videos regularly. We're here in the Livermore, California area. And uh, if you would like a checklist of these 10 things that you'd like to that you could do to uh, more beautify and stage your home to sell for top dollar on a dime then uh, click the button below or email me at ginger at sellyourbayareahome.com and I'll be happy to send you that checklist so look forward to chatting with you in the next video mm -hmm.